Hi everyone, it's Lisa here. I'm back today with a haul video for you. I haven't done one of these for a couple of months now, about two to three months I think. I've mostly been using stuff from my stash and only picking up essentials but I did place an order for some items in the last uh, couple of weeks so I thought I would share those with you today. The first thing I ordered was a few things from the release which was the one before the last one from Mama Elephant. I picked up this Sky Bursters die. I've been looking um, I've looked at the Avery L one for, for the last few years. I've had it on my list for that long and I just haven't got round to buying it. And then Mama Elephant bought out this kind of version of it. Well, it's, it is very different to the Avery L one because although you've got the stitching there, it's not quite the same burst of stitching um, on the Avery L. Plus you get these extra little bits included as well so you've got some extra stars um, you've got the kind of banner there you've got the little moon and you've got the, the that actually hangs off the banner so that's a complete die in itself and you've got these two sets of stars which you can just cut out obviously as separate little stars and just pop them around but I thought it was a really nice option and I have used this die already and I will put a picture up in a second of the card that I made with it because I sent it out this week so I didn't have it here to show you but really lovely just a really lovely frame um, on a card but also fantastic for sky scenes as you can imagine so that was the first thing I got And then I picked up the Peonies in Bloom set. This was again from the same release as the die. Thought the peonies were really beautiful. You've got the slightly closed up peony there and the more open blooms there. Plus you've got these little leaves. I did get the coordinating dies as well. Um, I thought that it just makes the images look better finished, particularly when you've got stems. I never get quite the same finish when I fussy cut. So I did get the dies as well for that. And I'm looking forward to colouring those up, or particularly looking forward to watering watercolouring those it's quite a loose image almost a little bit sketchy so I think it will look really lovely with watercolour so I picked those two up and then I also picked up this set which is called basic set it's the creative cuts basic set and they have a number of these creative cut sets so it was really hard to choose the one that I wanted and they used to do one called Femme Frames which I believe just had these two frame um, elements in it. I don't know for sure, it was. It came out, gosh, I, I suppose about two, three years ago now. And then they changed it so you couldn't buy the frames separately, you could only buy this set with the other elements as well. But that didn't matter because, I mean, although I actually wanted it mostly for this scallop frame here, I think it's almost A2 size. I don't know for sure, but it's certainly bigger than the one that I've got. So that was the reason I got the set. But of course, you get this banner here. You've got an option to die cut a bow. I don't have anything like that at all. And there's a lovely tag as well. And you've got these little banner, heart and star options, an arrow to from. So I thought that it was a bit of an investment for me, but it did have these other options as well. So I thought I would get that and I can't wait to use that. And then I also picked up this set. This is called Brushed Florals. It's not a new set um, from Mama Elephant. It's been out for a couple of years, but I saw it on eBay. It is actually unused and new and was a very good price. So just not in its original packaging. So I got that. Those of you that will have been watching my videos recently will know I'm trying to buy sets where I can stamp, you know, just stamp rather than colour and use my coloured inks a little bit more. So I saw this, thought this was really pretty and I'm looking forward to creating a card with that hopefully in the next week or so. And then I picked up um, a couple of things from the My Favourite Things release. I can't even remember if this is the 
latest release or the one before because they come out so often they're monthly releases and the months just blur into one in my world however um, I did get these few items from it I thought this uh, hello sentiment was really lovely I love the rounded font of it I think it's just a beautiful kind of flowing sentiment but looks great on an A2 card and it has the accompanying sentiments as well which are mostly centered around kind of general hello or encouragement but that was I thought a really useful sentiment set but particularly because I love that hello and because of that I did actually pick up the die as well so the same font and size as the stamp set but you can obviously cut it as a die and it has the shadow as well so having the stamp set allows you to stamp onto the shadow so that just gives you another option that one's called sweet hello really looking forward to using that and then I also picked up these clouds this is called the cute cat cloud outlines they're, as you can see there's three of them they're all different sizes so they give this kind of puffy cloud but what you also get because there's a double cut line it allows you to cut just the outline of the cloud you don't always want the large inner piece of a cloud you sometimes just like to have well I think it's useful to be able to have a cloud outline option because sometimes the clouds can look quite heavy on a card depending on what you're doing but you want to have a cloud on there but maybe just not the full um, the full shape itself so to have the outline is really really useful they were a great price and I've been looking for that sort of thing for a while so they hit the nail on the head This is something a little bit different for me to share. I won a gift card recently to the shop called The Grey Muse. This is actually run by a friend of mine and I should say straight up she hasn't asked me to video or promote these in any way but I won a gift card to her store and I wanted to share these because I think they're absolutely adorable she has just started a business it's about three months old now I believe and she's creating enamel pins for card makers so a subject that's close to all of our hearts as I say I was lucky enough to win a gift voucher to her store and I ordered about three of the pins that I really loved. I think they were from the first release. She does monthly releases and she did enclose a couple of extra pins as well. But I really wanted to share them because I think they're so adorable and absolutely lovely if you're a card maker. This is the little swatch one. So I think the packaging's beautiful. They're all slightly different. They're not all slightly different, but the cards that come in the packages, they do vary according to the pin. But that was the first one I got was the little swatch palette. Uh, really really cute and I also picked up the ink pad organizer you see these a lot in American craft rooms I don't think we really have the same options to store our inks over here which would be lovely but we don't but I thought that was really cute as well the little inks on the shelf and I also got because I just couldn't resist the paper trimmer and I actually do have a paper trimmer that's like this and it's an interactive pin so they're all so cute anyway they're quite heavy they're heavier than I thought um, they would be to be honest having not really had any before but this one is it has the little heart that moves up and down which is really cute and you open it up as well which if you've got paper trimmer that's like this it's similar to the Fiskars one um, it it does that and so it's just adorable and I cannot wait to display these so I need to find a way of displaying them that sets them off to their best because they really need to be out and you need to be looking at them and so at the same time I got the little floral card I couldn't resist that because of course it's florals and it's a card and I also picked up the happiness is handmade pin as well so a couple of them as I say she did enclose for me as a gift 
and then I've also got one which is called do more of what makes you happy I just need to attach the pin on to the back of that but you open this one up and as you can see there inside it's got the little pencils so again that's another one that's interactive and I like pencil colouring so that's lovely isn't it do more of what makes you happy so really lovely sets she also does stickers as well I've got she enclosed a few of those in there as well encouraging sentiments we rise by lifting others happiness is handmade I am enough but I'm going to link to her shop below because in case you want to go over and see what she's got um, on sale I will put the link in my description below and they do also sell them over at Simon Says Stamp but I think some of the designs are actually exclusive to her shop you can't get all of them at Simon Says Stamp so if you if you're looking for one specific thing you want to definitely kind of check out her shop because that has all the options next up I picked up some inks as well I've got the alcohol lift ink as always I'm late to the party picking this up I want to try and find a way of using my inks I'm not I'm not finding them that easy to use to be honest alcohol inks and I want I thought it would be quite useful to try this to see if this in re kind of energizes me to use the inks that I have so I thought I would pick that up and have a go at using my inks again and I also got some of the mini distress ink cubes I'm trying to complete my collection of distress inks I don't plan on getting all of the oxides but I would like a full set of the distress inks and I mostly wanted to get some browns because I want to watercolor critters and I didn't really have any suitable browns in my stash so I've picked up eight of the distress inks I think I've got about five left to get now and then I've got the lot and they're all actually really lovely colours apart from I'm not keen on rusty hinge I'm not sure if I'm ever going to use that but you know I I'm sure it looks nice if you use it with something else but on its own it's not particularly a color that I love so we'll see how much I actually get to use that and then I also got some embossing powder this is Hero Arts white satin pearl I've seen Jennifer Maguire use this a lot in videos and I'm intrigued to see what it looks like um, obviously it's going to be a pearl embossing powder and it looks like it's a kind of champagne colour I haven't tried it yet but I want to try and use that in the next few weeks or so just to see what that actually looks like and at the same time I got some glitter this is the Lawn Fawn Chunky Glitter, really, really pretty. Uh, it's been out for a couple of years. I just haven't got, I haven't bought glitter in ages, actually. And I thought it was with Christmas only six months away. And of course, we have to start making our cards soon. I thought that would be lovely for Christmas cards. But, you know, sparkle is good all year round. So I'm sure I'm going to use this all year round, not just at Christmas, but it's absolutely lovely and a little goes a long way with glitter. So I'm looking forward to trying that out on a card. And then I also just got a small, I uh, placed a small order at Little things from Lucy's cards I got three packets of sequins this is the sprinkles crystal circles so they're like a little silver disc really there's different sizes in the packet and they do sparkle but that so they're like a sequin without the the little missing center so they're just a flat disc I thought they were lovely I also picked up the white orchid, orchid sequin mix again these have different sizes and I've used these on a card which I can't show yet but I've got that coming up in the next couple in the next week or so very very pretty they sort of sparkle white as opposed to silver so I thought those were lovely and I also really liked these glossy pearls so they're black but they have a, you know depending on the light that you're in they kind of look blue or purple or um, there's a bit of gold in there as well I think they're really lovely 
and I'm always looking for black options on a card so I need to think of a card that's going to show these off to their finest because they are really really pretty and they're a pearl option as opposed to a sequin so I got those as well and then lastly I picked up or second to last actually I picked up a couple of brushes paint brushes this is a number 10 and a number 12 round brush I got these from Jackson's Art in the UK they're a synthetic brush and I do have a couple of their other brushes as well that I really like but I wanted to do some water cut some freehand water coloring of flowers and leaves and I didn't have any brushes that were this size at all I only have really got sort of two four and six round brushes so I definitely did have a gap in my stash so these were a little bit of an investment for me but although I'm nervous about freehand water colouring I'm also quite excited to try because they are you know it's like lovely to be able to draw something completely free of a stamp so I got those particularly with thinking about doing leaves and florals and then the last thing that I picked up was some zigs. They were, these were reduced to 30p. I showed a batch of zigs a couple of months ago that had been reduced down to 50p at a store here in the UK and they actually reduced things further down to 30 so I did pick up some browns and some greys that was really all they had left and that's all I really needed anyway so I've almost got all the zig colours now I really don't think you need all of them I've just picked up a lot of extra colours because they were going so cheap but that finishes my haul for today i hope that you enjoyed watching thank you so much for spending time with me today as i say i did buy all this over three months so it does look like quite a lot but really over three months it probably isn't too bad i'll link to as much as i can in the description below and over at my blog in case you're interested in seeing things in a bit more detail but i'll be back soon with another project for you and um again thank you for watching bye for now